this is a new online atlas that we developed for the Roots, Tubers, and Bananas program. Uh, this is a joint project of SIP, SIAT, IITA, and Bioversity, and we're putting together maps for the RTB program. Um, and really the idea is that we move GIS and mapping and browsing a little bit out of the GIS lab and into the hands of the larger community of scientists working in the CGIAR. One way that we're going to try to get this involvement of other scientists outside of the GIS lab is by using social media. So we're linking it to Flickr and Twitter and YouTube so that people could embed videos or see videos that are already out there related to the crops that we are working on. So we hope that might be one tool to um, better communicate with our partner. We've taken public domain crop maps, including some of those developed by IFPRI and others in the CGIR, and put them on the site. So we have the basic crops for the RTB program, potato, sweet potato, cassava, yam, banana, and plantain. And uh, this is nice for our partners to be able to browse these maps. We have started to put in some maps of biotic constraints. So we have cassava mealybug, and very soon we expect to have a late blight map. And we're going to be putting agroecological maps on the site as well. One example of the types of uses that we want for this atlas is this map of biotic constraints. In this case, the cassava mealybug. Um, this was done by Sarush Parsa in SIAT using the Climax model, where he makes a global map of mealybug. We've been overlaying this map on the cassava distribution, and we hope to use it to reducing the negative impact of cassava mealybug. The atlas includes many layers from projects done by CG centers and our partners, and we've put these maps online, and they're available to the entire CG community through the ArcGIS online subscription. We have developed a priority setting application for the Roots, Tubers, and Bananas program. This uses a multi-criteria decision analysis and weighted overlay. So you can choose the criteria for targeting an intervention, and you can put weights on that criteria. These are factors that you would consider in citing some kind of intervention for let's say um, where you have some cassava technologies that you might want to um, disseminate in an area. So you can choose indicators related to those criteria, such as the cassava area, uh, poverty, uh, drought, other kinds of indicators that might be important in the targeting of an intervention. And once you choose these, um, you can give them all weights. Um, so some indicators might be more important than others, and you would want to change the weights according to your assessment of the importance of that, that indicator. The application then gives you a graphic display of your choices in terms of the weights, uh, so you can review what you did, and then you can run the analysis. So this is... Uh, doing a weighted overlay from a, a model builder, and you can display the map or download it. And so this map would show you, based on the criteria that you selected, areas for interventions um, in cassava improvement um, across the world. Please visit our website, and we expect to improve the atlas over the coming months. We would appreciate your comments. Thank you.